heck's going on down there? Hey, Aaron. Briscoe was a Cybertronian Decepticon during the Great War, blah, 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 and IDW. So, I, okay. Thanks for that info dump, Aaron, because we're just sharing that for the listeners. We clearly knew that Briscoe was always the name of this headmaster. Yeah. Now Titan Master. Uh-huh. Hey, we're, hey, hey, get, get, hey, hey guess what? what? It's part two of the trilogy. We got another Titan <sighs> Master's Attack spoiler. Really? Aaron. Aaron, last time we talked about... Is that what I'm doing about, here? Yeah. I pulled you back in out of nowhere one week later. Hope you weren't doing something important with helicopters because I, no. I just we already you. did the helicopter thing. Yeah, yeah, we did that last week uh, with that Springer stratagem. If you didn't see that, I mean, go check it out. But I'm sure if you're keeping up with spoilers, you've f- actually forgotten who revealed it by this point. Don't worry, that happens to me. Yeah. Um, we're here to reveal a Titan Master and a body. These two go together. These two are not from the Titans Return toy line necessarily. In fact, these two are wholly not from the Titans Return toy line because this is Fangry and Briscoe, and this is not even remotely the Fangry little Titan Master. Th- this is straight up G1 Fangry. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is brand new art because like the Headmaster art looks a lot like a Titans Return piece of packaging art, except that it's got a full moon behind it to match the full moon that's behind Fangry's Beast Mode. Uh, which is a really cool piece of artwork uh, technology, because when you flip Fangry over, then pop the head up, it's like the full moon is closer. <gasps> it's very Castlevania. Uh, yo, what does Briscoe do? Oh, nothing, just plus three health, uh, which I believe uh, Skull Crunchers or Skull Smashers um, Titan Master does similarly with plus five. Yeah. Um, if you want to math it out, for two stars, Briscoe's giving you plus three. For three stars, uh, the other dude's giving you plus five. There's no math to this, but you can also math out maybe it's two two health per star once you go past three. Uh, stat line on Briscoe, once you beat up Fangry, a little three three zero man pops out. Um, so he, he ain't going to do much. Uh, hope you have a plan if Briscoe's your last character. Yeah. Um, that, that's Th- not that, a- that plan is you stand up, you shake the person across the table's hand, and uh, start shuffling. No, no, the plan is piercing blaster, I win. Ideally, you've set up that scenario <laughs> <laughs> or something similar. Uh, cause yeah, three base attack. I hope you have some kind of pierce plan. Um, or I hope you don't plan on having Fangry die. Uh, Fangry, uh, in the meantime, it carries the beast tag, which is making a resurgence in this set. Uh, melee in both modes, 11 health, uh, two defense in both modes, four attack in both modes. Uh, when the beast mode attacks an enemy that has more stars than him, he has bold two. And when the robot mode defends against an enemy that has less stars than him, he has tough two. Uh, the body is six stars, by the way, while Briscoe is two stars. So six stars plus at least two, that's uh, approximately, unless there's a one-star Titan Master, he's going to be at least eight stars. Mm-hmm. Um, and he could be higher. So I, I, I kind of like this approach in that it means Fangry can either be a bold attacker or a tough defender. Uh and I'll, I mean, I, I, this might be a broken record, but um, you certainly would want him to have some black pips so he could take advantage of both uh, if if the call is there to take advantage of both. Because, I don't know, if you're running like a blue-black deck, I could see it where you're fighting a big guy. You run this with some, the bigger they are, uh, make him uh, six pierce four with bold two to flip hopefully at least two more black pips to be six pierce six uh, in the beast mode if, if, if he's mm-hmm. fighting something big. And then if he's uh, defending against something little, then hey, tough two, and you have enough blue pips, you're going to hopefully flip at least four defense, which should defend against little things, um, unless they're doing pierce. Uh, it just seems like a, an interesting uh, multifunction character that does not necessarily ask a ton of you to be multifunction. Not like, for instance, Wave 2 Springer, where you got to get stuff on him to be multifunction. Right. Um, this also uh, this feels like a character where feasibly you pick whether he's in one mode or the other for most of the fight, unless your opponent's running a big spread of characters. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I think this could be cool. And Briscoe being a um, kind of not quite energy pack on a Titan Master, uh, the plus health Titan Masters are, are are a thing that that caught my eye immediately because like plus health has been a part of stuff like Galaxy Prime um, at the upper echelons that I saw, and right. uh, especially with swap heads, being able to like pass the plus health to someone else if say Fangry's doing okay, uh, that that could be cool too. But yeah. uh, I was going to say, I really kind of see a body like this being something more along the lines of where you'd, you'd have the potential for, 
like a couple of different Titan Masters, and I'm hoping that potentially we get uh, different rules about sideboard a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, just because you know, if you can have only one Transformer in a sideboard, like I wouldn't have alternate heads as sideboard st- stuff. But if you could have like 15 stars worth of sideboard. Just however you wanted it. I could definitely see something where, okay, I've played against my opponent, and man, I need the the defense boost on this. Just because he's got, you know, a setup where it's just eat me alive. I can change the head that I have in there so that, you know, maybe I want a bigger head on the body. That yeah. way, my star value goes up. Oh, he's got, you know, two big guys or three big guys at like eight stars. Maybe I, you know, maybe that's when I put Briscoe on him to get down to seven stars. That's, I could see that being an interesting kind of like side game to the sideboard process of actually adapting this to be against my opponent's deck where it's not just in the battle cards. Yeah. Like, like I I feel like it's going to probably still be like one main character on a sideboard, but it would be cool if there was like, maybe it's a bit too much. It'd be cool though. If it could be like a character, uh, a large card and a small card or something Mm -hmm. like even, even that might break things a bit with the micromasters is hard to say. Cause yeah, other, if we are in a position where we have to give the entire sideboard slot to just a different head, I think then you'd really be needing to run either a, a really solid lineup with Fangry or running a couple Titan masters where it's like, I've got three Titan masters with three heads and then a fourth head in the sideboard. Right. Um, because uh, yeah, like the star count thing, I think is is very fascinating. Um, I'm just trying to find uh, Cups Headmaster and Twin Twist Headmasters. I'm just on the Facebook page because if I remember correctly, one of them gives you uh, tough. Yeah, Cups gives tough three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you pop Flintlock onto Fangry, uh, that's a ten star character. Where if they are bigger than the attacker, they got tough five in robot mode. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, that's, that's also something. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, I do get the feeling like Fangry could be someone who benefits from having just like either you, you build, you build Fangry to take advantage of the bold. Uh, and then if you do need to defend more then yeah, put like Flintlock in your sideboard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Briscoe in the meantime, like that'd be a weird thing to sideboard. And I almost feel like Briscoe is the one you put in your main board and then you have like a bigger one in your sideboard. Yeah. Uh, maybe for, for another scenario. Or it'd also be the question of does your head and body have to match or is that part of the, oh, it like it does not have, have they said that? Okay. I must've missed that. It, it was as part a clarification. of, it was part of the answer when I'd asked in that drew podcast about like whether it was oh, matched yeah, stuff in the boosters. Hasn't gone up yet as we're recording this. Oh no. If you're hearing this, it's up. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to be matched up. Uh, so you know, Briscoe is just like two stars with plus three health. If there's like a big Titan Master body, for instance, where the body, you know, the headless Titan Master is doing enough on their mm-hmm. own, and you just want to give them like the little stat boost, then yeah, just throw Briscoe on for plus three health and just have the effects of the body pay for themselves. We've not seen every body as of this recording, and so I'm thinking like, hey, if like an Apex Armor Optimus is in there, going off of you know the box art of the booster box, uh. Surely, Apex Armor Optimus without a head alone is already going to be a very strong character. So, <laughs> let's just throw Briscoe on there and give him th- plus three health, and also have a whole bunch of people go like, who the hell just stole Optimus Prime's body? And then Briscoe's like, y'all, it was me, the most evil cartographer. You can't stop me. Unless Power Master Prime isn't in the set, then I, I would also be utterly amazed if he's not. Like, that That looks like Power Master Prime on the box for the oh, booster box. Yeah. So... You know, hasn't been revealed as of this recording, but I'll I'll be I'll I'll be gobsmacked if the, if, the, if that's <laughs> yeah, not the Optimus. Commissioned this key art. Well, no, it's that's cool, just, right? That's just the toy art too. That's all it does. It's just that's just the packaging art for Apex or Power Master Optimus. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, that's uh, that's Briscoe and Fangry. 
Uh, I almost said Brisky and Fangro. That Fangro is a different thing that is unrelated to the TCG. Um, Aaron, any other thoughts on these guys? Uh, it's it's kind of cool that like the Decepticon headmasters we're seeing, at least as of this recording, are also all just straight up beasts. Like we're just doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's. I I think it's definitely going to be pretty interesting to see the different ways that that uh, they get to play with the headmasters along. Yeah, along the, the 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 progression of all of this stuff, I'm just losing words today. That's okay. You know, we we spent uh, a a good solid minute just very quickly refreshing our our memories of who Briscoe is because we remember. Yeah. but uh, yeah, it just I, took a I second. Mean, I I will say uh, the guys that were designing all of this probably had a whole lot more time to uh, to figure out names and do some hunting rather than having to be sitting here just like, oh yeah, what's that again? I, it's vaguely familiar. No, it's not a brist iced tea or some other things. Thanks, Urban Dictionary. Uh, There's quite a lot of things yeah. that Briscoe means in Urban Dictionary. Yeah. We found out. Maybe that's why Briscoe is not on toy packaging. Who knows? Maybe it's, it's too yeah. ubiquitous a word now. Uh, Could be. But hey, also... Like Arcana, it's cool to see these G1 names in in the card game. Like I feel like maybe they sort they they you know didn't solve everything. It's still Monkso and not Monzo, but uh, mm. maybe they sorted out a couple things as far as like some of the weird Nebulon names. Um, since they're not toys, they're just cards. Uh, but that's name trademarking. That is a whole like thing that you can talk to with local Toronto players for. A long time while having post game Popeyes and watching them slowly realize that there actually are no easy XY rules to those things. Um, Autobot Jazz is fine, but, uh, you know, we got. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Thanks for checking out uh, this spoiler with us, everybody. If you got any ideas for uh, what you want to do with Fangry uh, or Briscoe, or Fangry and Briscoe, uh, drop us a comment or two uh, in either the thread or here on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, also, come on back in like a week, unless you're in the future and you can just watch all this in a row. Because like we got one more, we got a trilogy to complete. We got one more thing to talk about, and uh, I'm kind of hyped to talk about the next thing. That was uh, that. That was a really sloppy sentence to end on. I thought it was going to be way more intense. Yeah. Um. Hey, y'all. I. I. Uh, I. Boy, my. Uh, hype. Sure is. Projecting. Across the. Mm, I'm just going to end this. What the fuck's going on down there?